আমরা ভেক্টরের দ্বিতীয় পর্ব আলোচনা করব দ্বিতীয় পর্ব যেটা হচ্ছে এমএস কিউ টাইপ প্রবলেম কম্পিউটার বিজ্ঞানের জন্য তাই আমি সরাসরি প্রবলেমে চলে আসি যেটা আগের পর্বে আমরা আলোচনা করেছি তো ফার্স্ট প্রবলেম হচ্ছে গিভেন দ্যাট এ ভেক্টর ইজ 2i ক্যাপ 3j ক্যাপ 2k ক্যাপ এন্ড বি ভেক্টর ইকুয়ালস টু i 3j k ক্যাপ এন্ড সি ভেক্টর ইকুয়ালস টু 3i j k ক্যাপ দেন দা ভ্যালু অফ c ডট a 2b মানে এটা খুব সিম্পল প্রবলেম জাস্ট ভেক্টরের যোগ বিয়োগ এবং ডট প্রোডাক্ট নিয়ে ওকে তো ফার্স্ট আমি a 2b ক্যালকুলেট করি হোয়াট ইজ এটা কিন্তু জিলেট 2012 এ আসে তো a ভেক্টর 2b ভেক্টর হোয়াট ইজ দা ভেক্টর a ইকুয়ালস টু ইজ গিভেন টু ইউ 2i ক্যাপ 3j ক্যাপ 2k ক্যাপ 2 ইনটু হোয়াট ইজ মাই b ভেক্টর b ভেক্টর ইজ i ক্যাপ plus 3j cap plus k cap so now we subtract multiply to all the components and 2i minus 2i that is 0 into i cap okay plus 3j cap minus 6j cap that is minus 4j cap 6 minus 3 that is minus 3j cap and minus 2k cap minus 2k cap that is minus 4k cap that is a minus 2b and now c dot a minus 2b what is c dot a minus 2b and what is my c c is 3i cap plus j cap minus k cap dot 0 i cap minus 3 j cap minus 4 k cap and dot product kibhabe nita hoye bolechilam je prottekta vector er i cap er component i cap er component product korbo 3 into 0 plus 1 into minus 3 1 into minus 3 plus minus 1 shorbo minus 1 into minus 4 so after the calculation this is 0 this is minus 3 plus 4 that is answer is 1 so which option is correct the options are 1 0 5 and minus 0 i have gotten the result of 1 okay that is the answer okay you can calculate and solve this in your without pen and pencil okay so this is a simple problem problem number two set up 2012 version july 2012 এই ছোট ছোট প্রবলেম এমসিকিউ টাইপ প্রবলেম এই প্রবলেম গুলো কিন্তু খুব সহজ প্রবলেম একটু যদি তোমরা যদি একটু ভালোভাবে স্ট্রেস দাও তাহলে কিন্তু প্রত্যেকটা কোশ্চেনে आंसर দিয়ে আসতে পারবে এবং ইচ এন্ড এভরি ইয়ারে জিলেট एग्जामে মিনিমাম দুটো জেই মেনেও মিনিমাম দুটো প্রবলেম থাকে ডব্লিউবি জেই তে তো মিনিমাম একটা তো একটা দুই একটা এক মানে কোশ্চেন থাকে দুটো করে প্রবলেম থাকে ওকে নেক্সট প্রবলেম নাম্বার 2 এ ইজ গিভেন টু ইউ দিস ভেক্টর আই হ্যাভ नॉट মেনশন হিয়ার দিস ইজ এ ভেক্টর and this is b vector and this is c vector so i have to calculate a cross b dot c first so it are 2012 basis so how to calculate a cross b a is given to you uh, i cap plus 2j cap minus 5k cap and b vector equals to i cap plus j cap plus 2k cap so cross product is also another vector so what is a cross b a cross b i have calculated by determinant way first row contains all the unit vectors i cap j cap k cap and second row is the component of the first vector that is 1 2 minus 5 and third row contains the component of i cap and j cap and k cap of b okay one one two so now i have to calculate the determinant so in the expanding with the elements of first row i cap into two into two that is four minus four minus five that is plus five minus j cap into this column and this row two into one plus five okay and plus k cap into 1 into 1 1 minus 2 so we will get 9 i cap minus 7 j cap minus k cap so i have to calculate a cross b dot c what is a cross b dot c so i have also say this can be expressed as box of a b c okay 
to also remind this notation a cross b dot c equals to box of a b c okay so 9 i cap minus 7 j cap minus k cap dot what is c the c vector is 1 i cap plus 4 j cap minus 5 k cap so taking the dot product 9 into i dot i that is 9 into 1 minus 7 into 4 plus minus 1 into minus 5 so after the calculation you will be 9 minus 28 plus 5 that is you will get minus 14 so the answer is okay uh, 4 plus 5 um, what is uh, 1 2 j k and 1 1 2 and the option is not i think the option b minus 14 here i have wrongly written so this is minus 14 so the answer is minus 14 9 minus 28 uh, plus 5 that is minus 14 so the option is c okay okay next uh, problem number three i have to discuss uh, problem number three a b c three are coplanar vectors and then what is the which results holds okay so i mean again for today i'll turn up to chill i'm j pinted vector coplanar on a pinted vector a key plane but other determinant value zero also a box product a b c box product to the zero hoy tamil is a pinted vector to bulbo coplanar if box of a b c equals to zero then a b c are coplan so now what is a b c coplanar you can write down a cross b dot c that is also denoted by box of a b c equals to zero so the answer is of course c box of a b c by a cross b dot c that is your answer so three vectors are coplanar that is the condition of coplanarity box of a b c equals to zero or a cross b dot c because a cross b is the perpendicular to the big plane a cross b is perpendicular to the plane containing a b and their dot product that is normal to the plane a b and c is lies in the same plane also of course c is perpendicular to the a cross b so that's the dot product is zero okay you can say in this way also because a cross b is perpendicular to the plane a b and c also lies in the in this plane okay so a cross b is also perpendicular to c so a cross b dot c equals to zero okay that is the condition of the perpendicularity so that is the condition of the coplanarity including all the information okay you can infer this result clear so the um, question number three is already we have done question number four question number three 2011 is still 2000 uh, question number four it 2011 essay if alpha dot beta equals to zero what is the alpha dot beta equals to zero so what information are available here alpha and beta is perpendicular to each other you can write alpha and beta is perpendicular to each other and another part is alpha cross beta is zero okay so alpha cross beta is zero vector means alpha and beta are parallel to each other because if you beta can be expressed as some constant of alpha then alpha cross alpha is some constant in alpha that is equals to zero because k into alpha cross alpha that is zero okay so duto vector shomantar hor ekta shorto ki duto vector cross product is zero duto vector lombo hor shorto ki tade dot product is zero alpha dot b is zero alpha cross beta equals to zero so ekhan theke ami clearly likhte pari alpha cross beta equals to zero means beta is parallel to alpha k into alpha and put down this value 
in this equation we will get alpha dot k into alpha equals to 0 and k into alpha dot alpha equals to 0 so you can write down k into mod of alpha square that is modulus value of alpha so this is non zero so k equal to 0 because alpha is non zero is given to you mod of alpha so mod of alpha square equals to not, not equals to 0 so of course k is equals to 0 and since k equals to 0 so beta equals to put down the value in this equation so beta equals to 0 into alpha vector so that is null vector okay so the only one option is beta equals to null vector not a scalar quantity it is a vector quantity so so you can answer this or this so which one the more correct option the option is a okay so if you opt c then that is wrong because this zero is the scalar quantity i have to determine the vector beta okay so the question number the problem number four is already solved so the option is a and it appears in it appeared 2011 in gillette exam okay next problem number five what is work done of the force? Problem number 5 is given to you. The work done of the force, force is given to you F equals to some 2i cap minus 3j cap plus 2k cap and is moving the particle. That means the ball is given to you and you kick that ball. The ball is given to you and you kick that ball. position vector is 3, 4, 5. This is the position, okay? And you apply the force. Kick call the volta, volta go here. As 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 a position. This is the point A, and this is the point B, whose position vector is also one comma two comma three. And now I have to find out what is the work done. So the work done on the force into displacement. That means to me, after report ball play call, I am going to displace. So she displace. Even displacement, even J force apply, which is another product of which So, here, force vector is given to you. That is F. And what is my displacement vector? D is the displacement vector. That is AB. That from B point to A point to get A point to B point to displaced, which is so. This is position vector of B minus position vector of A. So, you have to calculate one minus three. 1 minus 3 minus 2 i cap 2 minus 4 that is 2 minus 4 that is minus 2 j cap 3 minus 5 minus 2 k cap that is your displacement so what is work done work done is f dot b okay so what is f f is 2 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 2 k cap dot minus 2 i cap minus 2 j cap minus 2 k cap the using the dot product relation 2 into minus 2 plus minus 3 into minus 2 plus 2 into minus 2 so minus 4 plus 6 minus 4 so minus 2 unit okay so negative sign so if you apply the force okay this is the return retardant force okay when force to to the act correction okay so minus 2 unit is also option there so the answer is minus 2 unit okay so i have solved problem number 5 so next problem number 6 this is the what that is the application of dot product okay so problem number 6 the simplest value of i cross a the mod square plus j cross a the mod square plus k cross a mod square is what are the values is given 3 into mod a square mod of a square b option c equals to 0 and b is 2 of mod a square so that is that also appears in 2010 okay so first we have let the vector is you take a equals to a1 into i cap a2 is a2 into j cap a3 into k cap you have taken okay we, without loss of generator we can assume so now what is my i cross a i cross a okay so what is i cross 
I have to take the cross product I cross A. Okay. So first, what is I? I cap means you can write down I into 1 plus 0 into J cap plus 0 into K cap. And what is A vector? That is A1 into I cap, A2 into J cap plus A3 into K cap. And now I cross A, what is I cross A? That is I J K. What is the coefficient of I? That is 1 and other part is 0. And what is A? A1, A2 and A3. Now you have to expand with the elements of first row I cap into 0 into A3 that is 0, 0 plus minus J cap into A3 minus A0 and K cap plus K cap into A2 minus 0 that is. So, what is the value? That is minus J cap into A3 minus okay sorry j equals to minus j into a3 into a1 into 0 that is 0. So, j into a3 plus k into a2. Yeah. And the coefficient of i is 0. Okay. So, what is i cross a? I have gotten this. What is mod of i cross a? That is 0 square plus minus a3 the whole square plus a2 the whole square coefficient of i cap the whole square coefficient of j cap the whole square coefficient of k cap the whole square okay so you will get a2 square plus a3 square square root of this so what is i cross a a2 square plus a3 square similarly if you calculate j cross a the modulus value and similar fashion you will calculate you will get the it appears a1 and a3 so the value is a1 square plus a3 square and in the same way you can write down a k cross a so the appearing a1 and a2 okay a1 square plus a2 square from the symmetry dekho i cap thakle dekho a1 ta thakche na a2 a3 thakche j cap cross korle a1 a3 thakbe a2 thakbe na k thakle a1 a2 thakbe a3 thakbe na and adding all the results I cross A, J cross A plus K cross A. If I add all the results, we will get A2 square plus A3 square, A1 square plus A3 square, A1 square plus A2 square. So you will get 2 into A1 square plus A2 square plus A3 square. So, you will get 2 into square root of this whole square. So, this is mod of a square. Because mod of a equals to, you know, what is mod of a? That is square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square. This clear? So, 2 of mod a square. So, the option is D. So, the, this problem also appears 2010. Okay. I have solved problem number 6. Next problem number seven. So two of mod x square is the answer, and the option is D. Problem number seven. If the relation is given to you, mod of a plus b equals to mod of a minus b. Find the angle between a and b. First, either mod A equals to mod A, the options are A and B are parallel, A and B are perpendicular, none of this. So, I have to find out the angle between A and B. What is the, what is the procedure? You take square both sides. So, you can write down here also A plus B dot A plus B and because A dot A equals to mod A square, A minus B dot A minus B. So now we calculate a dot a, a dot b similarly plus b dot a plus b dot b, a dot a minus a dot b minus b dot a plus b dot b. 
and you see that both side a dot a a dot a cancel b dot a b dot b cancel and a dot b 2 into this part if you take right hand side from left hand side a dot b plus b dot a equals to 0 so you know that dot product is commutative so a dot b equals to b dot a equals to both are equal because dot product is commutative so 4 into a dot b equals to 0 and you will get a dot b equals to 0 since the dot product of a and b are 0 so they are perpendicular to each other because angle between them is 90 degree okay because a dot b equals to mod a mod b cos theta clear so the condition of the perpendicularity is that if the two vectors the dot product of the two vectors is 0 then the vectors are perpendicular to each other so the option is c the vectors are perpendicular okay from this result i have gotten this expression and in fact this and then next then we conclude that a and b are perpendicular to each other that is the condition of perpendicularity of two vectors a and b because a dot b equals to 0 means a and b are perpendicular to each other next last problem problem number 8 the vectors this, uh, this problem also appears 2009 Gillette. Sat number problem to 2009 is. So, at number problem 2009 is. Three, the vectors are given to you. Three vectors are given to you. Uh, I, 2 i cap minus j cap plus k cap. And another vector is i cap plus 2 j cap minus 3 k cap. And 3 i cap plus a into j cap plus 5 k cap are coplanar. Coplanar means their box product is 0. That means the determinant value is 0. Then you have to find out the value of a. So you can write down 2 minus 1, 1, 1, 2 minus 3, 3, a, 5. If this term is 0, this determinant value is 0, then you can find out the value of a because this the question is mentioned here the vectors are coplanar okay that is the condition of coplanarity so expanding with the elements of first row we will get 2 into 10 plus 3a minus and minus plus 1 into 5 plus 9 plus 1 into a minus 6 equals to 0 so we will get 20 plus 6a plus 14 plus a minus 6 we will get a and 7a and 20 plus 14 that is 34 34 minus 6 minus 20 plus 28 equals to 0 a equals to minus 4 this is the answer so the option is a so i have done all eight problems i have solved okay that that problems are appeared or appeared in gillette exam so this problem also appeared 2009 okay next our corrector problem what is a problem on the last particular competitive exam problem solve okay thank you i mean